we live in the age of stress and strain in our lifestyle, the way we live. Hence, there is no mystery to it that it's a natural, ready invitation for anxiety and lot many other mental health issues. There are lots and lots of healing modalities which help you overcome these mental health issues. Yoga is one of the oldest and one of the most promising, easy lifestyle change that you can bring into your life to bring about that change in your wellness and happiness and way of living. When you do asanas, the asanas probably may help you lose weight. But how are they helping your mental peace? How are, you, how are those asanas, the physical exercises, helping your physical as well as mental well-being? You all would have heard a very, very famous Sanskrit saying, which goes like, Yoga Chitta Vritti Nirodhan. What does it mean? Yoga is something which helps you remove, eliminate all the distractions of your mind so that you can focus on your goal, whatever that goal may be, however high, however big, however difficult your goal may be. You will see with how much ease and comfort you will be able to reach your goal and have a beautiful, happy, healthy life. Just taking few minutes off your daily schedule and including some very simple asanas and breathing techniques will bring about a huge change in your lifestyle, in your well-being and in your wellness. Your body is made up of a physical body which you perceive and also a subtle body. There are nadis, like, like there are nerves in your body, like there are the peripheral nerves and there are the spinal, uh, the nerves connecting the spine and your brain. Like that, in your subtle body, which is around your physical body, there are something known as nadi. This is where the energy flows. There are thousands and thousands of nadis in your subtle body. Similarly, when there's thousands of nadis, when they will be meeting at different points and different parts of your body, that's where the congestion will be. It's actually so simple. Regulate the traffic and that's when you will reach your destination soon. Similarly, regulate the congestion in your nadis, in the junctions of your nadis, and that's where you will make sure that you're living a healthy life. Today, I will show you some very simple asanas and pranayam. All you have to do is sit in some postures, easy postures, and how easily the nerves are relaxed and how easily you're feeling peaceful. Asanas are something which will help dissolve these congestions in your physical body as well as in the subtle body. While pranayam is a technique which is enhancing your breathing capabilities. You know, we are alive and we are healthy, mainly depending on your breath and how well, how deep you inhale the prana which is surrounding us. So, are you ready to learn these few basic simple postures and pranayam techniques which will help you live a very healthy and fit life? The first posture that I will be showing you is called Anand Madhira Asan. Just like the name suggests, it is a very blissful asan. So we will start the posture. Sit comfortably in Vajrasan. Keep your back and your neck straight. Bring your hands on the side. Slowly lift up a bit. Put your palms on your feet and sit down. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. You will be doing abdominal breathing in case you are not comfortable to hold your ankle or to put your palms on your heels. You can even comfortably put them in front on your knees. This will become the basic Vajrasana. Take deep breath, breathe in and breathe out. So how you breathe also makes a whole lot of difference. When you breathe in, that is when you inhale, 
your stomach, your abdomen has to expand. And when you breathe out, that is exhale, your stomach will contract. A lot of people breathe opposite. And when you're breathing not correct, that's when all the problems start. Bring about just a subtle change like that and you will see a whole lot of difference in your well-being. Sit in a comfortable position, either with your hands on your knees or your hand on your feet and inhale. Close your eyes, inhale. Exhale, release. You can get up and sit in a comfortable position. The second of the lot is Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. The Nadis, as we discussed, are in the subtle body. So in case of the congestion, in, in case of blockages, when you do the simple pranayam, so you will sit in the comfortable position, normalize your breathing, deep inhale and exhale. Close your eyes. First, inhale from your left nostril. and exhale from the left nostril. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the right nostril. Inhale. Repeat this procedure for around 15 times on the each side. So by doing this simple pranayam, you're not only cleansing your nadis, but you're also balancing the heat and the cool temperature in your body. Ideal time to do Nadi Shodhan is of course in the morning, early in the morning, when your stomach is clear, when you're empty in your stomach, before you eat your meal, before you eat your breakfast. And you will see how energetic, how amazing your day goes, just by bringing about this balance. We will move on to the third asana, which is one of my favorite. It actually just takes one or two minutes to do this asana. It is called as Brahmari. Brahmari is a bee. The sound that this pranayam makes is like that the buzz of a bee. So you again sit in a comfortable position. Take your thumb and put your thumb on your, in your, inside your ears. And take these fingers and put them all across your head as if you are making a network on your head. Take a deep breath, close your eyes and make a humming sound as you exhale. Once again, Take a deep breath. You can do this up to eight to 10 counts. And with each count, try to expand your breath. Try to expand your exhale and hence the humming sound. Just by the vibration of the humming sound, you will see all your nerves calming down. Continue practicing these three, at minimum, these three simple techniques and you will see a whole lot of difference in your life. Add these two asanas in your daily life and you will see the change. These are the asanas which you can even do while you're sitting in the office. Just take two minutes off, walk around a little, find your personal little spot and do these two asanas. So stand straight in your positions, feet next to each other, back straight, neck straight. I will first show you the two postures. The first posture will be, you will inhale and you will take your arms back and bend back. Second posture will be, you will go down and touch the floor. Inhale and exhale. Release. Remember to keep your back straight and to bend from your lower waist when you're bending down. The slower you will perform these asanas, you will see the better results. We will move on to the next asana. 
stand with your feet next to each other. Your back straight, neck straight. Hands relaxed. Raise up your arms on the side with your palms facing in the front. Inhale and take your hands back, as back as you can, expanding your chest. Exhale and bring your palms in front, touching each other. Inhale and exhale. With each inhale, try to expand and try to bring back your arms as much as possible. And exhale. Relax. Both of these exercises try to do a minimum of five counts. You can do maximum of 10 and keep increasing the number. Just by performing these two basic stretches and asanas, you will see a whole lot of difference in your alignment, form and posture. I hope you can practice these few simple suggestions in your everyday life. By bringing about the change in your lifestyle, in your sleep pattern and in your food habits, by adding these few asanas and pranayam in your daily schedule. And last and the most important thing, Keep a smile at every given time in your life and you will see, you will be able to sail through any difficult possible situation. Keep smiling, stay happy. Namaskar.